Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. In today's video it is my pits and peaks of the week. So for those that might be new or unfamiliar with this series I talk about my pits for the week so what didn't go so well and my peaks for the week what did go better. For anyone that is interested if you can see a handle behind me I'm sitting on the floor I didn't bring a chair up when I brought all my stuff up and Philip is asleep downstairs so I don't really want to go back downstairs so I'm just I'm camping out on the floor. Um, yeah, so pits and peaks for the week. Um, I did mention in my last video that I was on holiday this week, so I had vacation from work, uh, just a staycation, wasn't going anywhere, was just doing like odd bits. Um, so there was that apprehension with sort of whether my eating and things were going to go to plan or not. I'll get into my pits first and then we can end on a high with the peaks as usual. So pits for this week, I haven't been as on track as I would have hoped this week. In fact, most of my days this week have been over my calories. So as always, I will provide a screenshot here of my seven day view from NutriCheck. But if I look here, I can see that Saturday, Sunday and Monday were on track and every other day was off track. Uh, Wednesday I'm not really counting so I guess that could be four days on track so if you want to count overall um, Wednesday I was only over 58 which I'm not too bothered about but the rest of the days I was over by at least 400 calories um, that was purely because we went out to do things and ended up eating out and didn't really have much control in regards to calories or we just fancied that sort of food like we'd not been to five guys for ages so we went out to a trip to ikea which was like an hour and a bit away and there was a five guys nearby so we ended up getting a five guys and for anyone that's been to five guys before um the menu is very calorific so i was over on that day and yeah just generally i was over on the days that I was off work so I'm classing that as a pit for the week. Um, I will touch on something later in my peaks with regards to sort of calories but for now we'll move on. So the next one was that I had no gym sessions this week. I'm not sure whether I'm going to do a gym session later on today. Uh, I'll see how I feel but I've done no gym sessions again uh, this week which is a bit frustrating because I'm still stuck on only two days being done from my gym guide which is not really a great start um but just because we've been off all this week and we've been sort of traveling places during the day i've just not been able to fit in those gym sessions so um yeah i'm gonna have to step that up this week or next week should i say uh i had planned to go to park run this week but um judging on the runs that i've done this week and just how i felt confidence wise going into park run i just don't think i'm quite ready yet i think maybe next week or the week after i will attempt it but unfortunately no park run this week the next one and probably the biggest pit for this week was that i broke my step streak unintentionally i basically just went to bed one evening and completely forgot about getting the rest of my steps in and I think I had like 5k steps that day and I'm really gutted because my step streak 10,000 steps a day I've been doing since the beginning of April so I'm quite gutted that that has ended and I've had to restart that. I have been on track with my steps since then but yeah I'm, I'm really disappointed with that. I did do like over my steps the previous day i think i got like 16k the previous day so i have sort of made up for it step wise but yeah unfortunately according to garmin i have broke my step streak so that's not great the last one is that my period is back again great uh started a few days ago and it is very early for me so uh, i think my i'm only two weeks into my cycle and i've started again so that's not great tiredness is obviously back and all the other symptoms that i usually get with my period is back so that's sort of put a spanner in the works um my implant for sort of periods and things is is out basically i'm waiting for that appointment it's like a six week wait for that so I'm sort of expect, uh, expected that my periods might 
start to go a bit wacko. Um, but yeah, I certainly didn't expect that I wouldn't get through a whole cycle without starting a new one. So yeah, that's a bit of that's a bit frustrating, but nothing I can do. I'm just gonna sort of keep going. The only thing that I want to do going forward is to try and push through those low energy days to try and make sure that I still get my exercise in. So I'll talk about that in a bit. Uh, but I think that's it for my peaks. So I had sorry I'm looking at my notes I had over calories most days no gym sessions broke my step streak no park run and period started so I've had five pits for this week um my peaks so we'll move on to my peaks to try and sort of claw back some sort of peak for this week uh, I did do two outdoor runs this week so I've done no treadmill runs at all uh not sure whether I'm going to fit one in today probably not uh, but I did do two outdoor runs. For those that haven't watched my previous videos, I have been struggling with my outdoor runs, been struggling with sort of confidence and things like that outdoors as well. So the fact that I've done two outdoor runs this week has been very good. Obviously Philip has been off with me so he's come out for my runs. It has been slightly frustrating that he hardly does any running at all and then when he goes out he can run faster than me and go further distance than me and things like that. But I'm trying not to get myself worked up by that. Um, it is what it is with that regard and my journey is my journey and how I progress is completely different to how he will. So um, just taking that in my stride basically. But I'm quite happy about two outdoor runs this week. Both of the runs have been further than previous outdoor runs. So obviously I did, I think I did one outdoor run last week. I went out for an outdoor run the first time this week and beat my time or distance, I can't remember which, probably both, uh, from last week and then the second run that I did outdoors I beat the, the first one that I did this week. So it is slowly going up, I think I reached 26 minutes, so not far off 30 minutes now, I reckon maybe another week or two. Um, I'm going to try and sort of make sure that each time I do an outdoor run it's further than the last one so we'll see how that goes. The second time that I did my outdoor route I do feel like I had more in me, I just took the wrong route. I let Philip control the route and he went to a hill and it sort of screwed me up a bit so if I have a completely flat route and where I've planned out the route myself, I reckon I can probably get at least 30 minutes, maybe a 5k. So I think that's going to be on the plan for next week. Um, so that is that. So two outdoor runs this week, which I'm pretty happy with. The next one is um, tied in with the, a pit from earlier. And that is that I, even though I have been over on my calories quite a few times this week, I have made sure that I've tracked every morsel of food that I've put in my mouth this week, which to me is a peak. In previous times before I sort of switched my mindset in August, I would have just taken it as being off plan and not tracked anything and just sort of gone off the rails. Oh, I'm over my calories, so it doesn't really matter. I can eat what I want. I've sort of managed to rein it back, even though my meals and things have been higher that has brought the calories over I haven't sort of gone wild with snacks and things like that to sort of bring it more over than it needed to be so I suppose I have had control in that respect and I'm not I don't want to beat myself up too much about it and I'm sort of taking it is what it is the damage has been done this week and just to, to move on next week so yeah that is my peaks for the week I don't have anything else to really talk about but the peaks that I have had are good peaks so it's not all bad for this week. I am back to work next week, probably not in the office because of all the petrol palaver here in the UK um, but yeah should be back on track with calories. We'll be in a new month next month, uh, next week as well so I don't know how excited I am for that given the fact that I've had a couple of off days this week um, but hopefully I will be able to pull something out of my check-in next week. Um, if I don't then it is what it is and I just have to try it harder next time but yeah not much I can do. I'm just gonna uh, basically the plan for next week is to just make sure that I'm under my calories every day next week. 
uh, without fail to sort of try and rein things back a bit from the over days that I've had this week. Um, and want to get in two runs this week, or should I say next week, one outdoor, maybe one treadmill or both outdoor, or maybe a treadmill and two outdoor runs. Um, I'm just going to see how I feel with it. And yeah, I'm not putting too much pressure on how many runs I do, just when I feel like it, go out for a run. Uh, the other thing is my gym sessions, I want to at least make sure I get one gym session in. I need to make sure that I get that uh, full body done for week one because I feel like it's been like a two week gap between that and then if any more happens that's cool, uh, maybe two, we'll see. Uh, but again, no pressure on sort of exercise, calories is the main focus for next week. And also hydration, I've been really bad on hydration this week. Today I didn't drink until one o'clock in the afternoon and that's not great. I def definitely sort of noticed the side effects of not having dr drunk anything pretty much all day and it was very sort of just wandering around. Um, that's probably partly hormonal as, as well, but I do need to make sure that I make more of an effort with drinking this week. So yeah, that is it. That's my sort of plans for the week going forward. Uh, don't think I have anything else to touch on, so we'll end it there. So don't forget to give the video a like, subscribe to my channel. You can always click the notification bell down below and you'll be notified of when my videos go live. Otherwise, I hope you're all staying safe and well. I hope you all have a good week, weekend, whenever it is that you're watching this. And I will see you again in my next video. Bye.